Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's take a look at how to create this mother of pearl effect. So I have opened Blender, loaded my object, switched to the shading tab. I've got viewport shading enabled and I've already applied a principled BSDF shader. The first thing that I'm going to add to that mix is a hue saturation node. So I press shift A and search for hue saturation. I'm going to pop that here and plug the color into the color of the principled shader. And I'm going to change the saturation to 1.1 and the value to 1.1. Now for the factor, we're actually going to add another node, which is a layer weight node. I'm going to take the facing connector from that into the factor and leave the blend at 0.5. Now for the color that's going into the hue saturation node, we're going to use a color ramp. And we'll take the color from that into the color of the hue saturation node. We're going to take the color mode to HSL and leave the method to near. Now we're going to add a third color, so we've got three colors here. And what this near method will do is blend from one color to the other. So let's start by choosing our first color here. We're going to crank the value all the way up to one. Saturation, we're only going to do just a little bit, maybe 0.2. And then the hue, we're just going to cycle around till we've got a purple-ish color. maybe want it a bit more blue might just increase the saturation on that bit maybe to 0.35 for the second color we're going to aim for a turquoise-ish color so let's go with the same saturation level oops 0.35 and let's cycle around till we get that Kind of turquoisey color. It's going to be more green, I think. Somewhere there, maybe. I think that needs to be a bit brighter. So let's put that up to 0.45. And we'll move the uh, hue around a bit as well. Okay, let's go with that. And then this one on the end, I think we're pretty much where we need to be with this, but we're gonna increase the saturation. So we get kind of a pinkish tone. I want that to be, actually let's take that all the way round to where pink is. Okay, we're gonna leave that at that, I think. Now, I need a mapping node to go into the color ramp. And I'm going to change the Y value on the location to 0.2 and the scale on the X to 0.5. Next, I'm going to get a wave texture and plug the color from that into the vector of the mapping node. And you can see now we've got all these crazy lines. I'm going to leave this at bands, change this to diagonal and leave that at sine. Change the scale to 0 0.2. Distortion will leave, oh, distortion will change to two. Detail to 5. 
detail scale to 5, detail roughness to 0.1, and the phase offset to 0.75. Now, to get that orientated properly, we are going to add a texture coordinate. Let's search for coordinate. There we go. Okay, so we've got most of the colouring going on here. Let's start working on a variety of the other bits that go into this. So, in our principled shader, Crank the metallic all the way up to 1. Going to drop the roughness down to 0.25. Specular to 0. Subsurface IOR, index of refraction, 1.01. Sheen, we're going to take up to 1. And the tint down to 0. Clear coat, we're going to increase to 1, and the roughness down to 0. We're going to leave the main index of refraction at 1.45, and everything else the same. Now that's nice enough, we've got colouring going on, we've got the shine or the pearlescence of the pearl, but we want a bit of texture, so we are going to add a bump node. Plugging the normal from that into the normal of the principled shader and dropping the strength down to 0.05. We're going to add a noise texture. Oops, not good at typing. And take the factor from that into the height of the bump. So you can see it's already starting to distort it. We're going to change that to 4D. Change the scale to 1, detail to 5, roughness to 0.4, and the distortion to 2. What we're now going to do is plug that wave texture, that same wave texture we used to sort of mix up the colours. We're going to take that and plug it into the vector of the noise texture. So you can now see we've got all these sort of graduated ripples. And that is pretty much it. So that's your mother of pearl shader. Let's send that off to render and see what we get. As usual, I'm using the Cycles render engine and a thousand samples. You can obviously adjust depending on what you have available. Might not come out as well in Eevee, but you can always give it a try and adjust some of the save, um, settings. Okay, and there we have it, our mother of pearl texture. I hope you've enjoyed this video and will give it a thumbs up before you go today, and please remember to subscribe for notifications of more from this channel. Mm -hmm.